So I'm a little excited for today because I'm going to be harvesting honey. Now I'm harvesting honey for all the wrong reasons. Um, so that hebe is honey bound, which means that uh, there's a lot of honey in there, but no place for the queen to lay. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out two frames, extracting the honey from them, and then putting them back in tomorrow. So I've got hebe here, and I've got the old nuke that I used for Hebe and uh, got my my stuff and I extract some honey love the way they scatter like that Very heavy and completely covered in honey and nectar and bees. So I hadn't quite worked out how exactly I was going to get all the bees off of this. But hopefully it will involve not getting stung a whole bunch. Well, here you get a close-up. God, this is like a super heavy and sticky frame, which means it's got loads of honey in there. Another reason it was so sticky, see all that comb on the bottom? That's, uh, that's why I was thinking it's actually dripping honey right there. Also a heavy frame. And it is 100% honey. That side is honey, that side is honey. Now this is not going to be tasty honey because it's going to be, oh my gosh, uh, it's going to be 100% sugar water. Um, and so it's going to taste like sugar and water, which is delicious, but it's not honey, so uh, it doesn't really count. Um, basically, they just took all the, the honey from the top feeder and they just s stuck it all in these cells and called it a day. So, that bit is done. Now let me show you what I'm looking at down there. See all of the uh, larva there? I don't think that I just killed all of those just now. I think that those are drones that have been dragged out of their cell because they were dead due to mites. So I'll be treating for mites very soon, next video, which will probably be in a couple days. And uh, I'll show you that process. And I'm going to check out this frame because it also looks to be completely covered in honey. 
All right, so I got my uh, four frames in there, ready to go. This box weighs about 30 pounds. It's pretty awesome. So I'm here with uh, Norman, and uh, we are uncapping the frames, and so he just slid that knife along it to remove the capping, and then he uh, uses this combing to just, or this comb to just remove this the... This is pick. Uh, uh, pick. It's a comb pick, I guess, to remove the... Uh, additional capping that the knife couldn't get. See, in a honey super, if you put nine, the bees will build it all out like it was there, mm -hmm. and then you can slide all the capping off. Oh, wow. But when they're ten, you don't, they don't build it out beyond the frame, so yeah. you have to take the... Well, I've got a honey super on there, but they have notice I'm not digging in very much. I'm just going right along under the wax, see? Right, yeah. Just to pull the wax off. That's cool. Right. This time I'll actually record instead of getting the camera off. Now the capping is just plain old beeswax, right? That's what it is. That's what they make all the candles out of. Yep, yep. Lip balm, hand cream. Yep, I've got a, about 200 milliliters of it saved so far. Uh, so it goes into the honey extractor. And I'll let you do one. All right, awesome. So it goes in there, and that's like a big centrifuge that we use to spin out the honey. So after a uh, incident with my pinky finger and a sharp knife. Norman is going to be doing the rest of this for me. I have a uh, big wad of paper towel taped around my finger because it will not stop bleeding. But uh, sting count is still 24. Alright, so we got our two full frames in there. And now we close the lid and we uh, crank the handle. So, uh, that's it. Just about up that fast or up faster? Up to speed. All right. Up to speed. More. More. honey at the bottom. Alright, so that's the honey coming out of the extractor and uh, it's going into that. So this might be a little bit of a wait so I'm not going to make you watch all this. So uh, growing up on a vineyard I used this device fairly regularly to uh, measure the sugar content in grape juice. Um, yep, and uh, now that uh, I'm making honey, uh, we use the same thing to measure sugar content in honey, and you're pro this probably isn't going to work at all. But if you look in there, oh wow, that almost works. Let's see. If you look in there, what it says is that this is less than 18% uh, water, meaning that this here is honey. This is good honey that is edible. My bees have actually made honey. I thought it was going to be sugar or water, but nope. It's good stuff. It's exciting. So that is all my honey right there. We're about to weigh it. One thirty to twenty. You got seventeen pounds of honey. Seventeen pounds of honey. That's good. That's awesome. That's good. Hey, thank you so much, sir. Let's go out and look at the. Uh... So I'm home now, and this is all my honey, all seventeen pounds of it. You can see how high it fills the bucket, so it's not a whole lot, but hey, uh, it's more than I was ready for, so uh, I'll put it in a jar and have some honey. This might take a while. So now I'm melting wax, and so what I do is I uh, melt it in this filthy 
mason jar, and then once it's melted, I pour off the top into this clean mason jar. And uh, I'm going to try and make a candle. So I honestly have no idea how to make candles, but uh, what I'm doing is just boiling those. And then I've always seen them like have like a weird stick with a knot thing. So I just did a clove hitch down into the thing, so we'll see if this works. I have no idea. So this was the wax that was holding a lot of drone brood. And as you can see, it's still got a lot of oops, foggy. Still got a lot of brood in there. So I'll have to scoop that out with a spoon. It's disgusting. Alright, so tonight's work is done. I have all my honey. And I have a little beeswax candle I made. Hopefully it'll work. So uh this is the bucket that I had the honey in and uh, once I got all the honey I could out of it instead of just washing it out and calling it a day I stuck it out here next to the beehive and they cleaned it out for me there's no honey in there whatsoever it's totally clean so uh, they're pretty good at that <laughs>